Welcome to MacBook Lessons number six, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today we're going to be talking about Mission Control. Mission Control is actually an overview of what windows you have open on your computer. If I put four fingers on my trackpad and I push them upwards, you'll see that I have a desktop one, a desktop two, and a desktop three. Right now, we're currently looking at desktop one. I'm going to do a four finger swipe down and I'm going to show you how you can adjust mission control. So click on the Apple and click on system preferences. Under personal you'll see mission control. The first button actually allows you to show dashboard as a space. So each one of these up here is considered a space. If I click the checkbox right here, when I push up with my four fingers I see a dashboard up here. That dashboard is now a space. So the way you rotate through the spaces is to actually swipe four fingers to the left or four fingers to the right. You can also click on the buttons up here to go directly to one. So showing dashboard as a space actually makes it a place that you can, a destination that you can go like a desktop. The next one is automatically rearrange spaces based on the most recent use. So basically what that's saying is if I have this checked, then my spaces will rearrange themselves based on which one I use last. So if I was using this one to look at my mail, this one will actually rearrange to become desktop number one. The next one says when switching to an application, switch to a space with open windows for the application. So, right now, on, on desktop number two, I have Keynote open. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. I have Keynote open. So if this is checked, when switching to an application, switch to a space with open windows for the application, if I come down here and click Keynote, it's going to take me to the second desktop, just like that. However, if I uncheck it, and then I come down and click Keynote, it actually will open up on this page. Now I can think of various reasons why I might want to do that, but maybe I'm working on a project just for example, and I don't want to get anything, I guess, mixed up with that project. I may uncheck that, this so that when I open an application, a new window or whatever for that application, I don't switch to the page, the desktop that I'm working on that project on. So the next one says group windows by application. Basically what that does is when I'm on a page that has multiple windows open from the same application, it actually will pile them up on top of each other. So if there are multiple windows open and I want to switch this from one, sorry, let's go here. I want to switch this from one window to the next. When I push up with four fingers, it actually makes a pile here and it makes another pile over here. So this is my mission control information. This is my keynote information. So back to the mission control settings. If I don't want those windows to group, I can actually click here and they'll all show up separately. That might be helpful if you have multiple windows opened up in the same application and you can't figure out which one you need. That's a quick way to spread them all out. So down here you actually have the opportunity to make your own keyboard shortcuts. So this for instance is control and the up arrow. This is control and the down arrow. I can use shift and the right arrow or command and F6 to show, make any of these show up. So you can set your own to, to work so that you have a quick way to get to something that you use all the time. My favorite thing in Mission Control though is the hot corners. Hot corners actually allows you to put a hot button on each corner. So you'll see up here in the top left hand corner I have Mission Control set as a hot corner. So if I come up here to the top I automatically go to Mission Control. If I hit it again it goes back. The bottom corner I have set to desktop so it automatically pulls my desktop up. The next one is dashboard. 
and then I have put this display to sleep as the bottom corner. So those are really neat ways. You can actually adjust these to be whatever you want, any of the uh, different settings on this list. I really like it. It gives you another way to get to something without having to do too many keystrokes or too many swipes and that kind of stuff. So definitely something to think about the hot corners down here. It's kind of hidden, but it's there and it's definitely worth your time setting up. I hope Mission Control was inter interesting to you today. I definitely learned something when I got in here. I wasn't sure what this one was right here and I had to actually look it up. So um, Mission Control is a great place to uh, really control your computer better and help you to you know move around quicker and I guess more efficiently. So I enjoyed teaching you today and I hope to see you back tomorrow.